The scripture lesson is taken from Gospel of Luke, the 18th chapter. Being a very familiar passage, may God grant us new understanding. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves, that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one of Pharisees and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee standing by himself was praying thus, praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector standing far off would not even look up to heaven. But he was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. A number of years ago, my husband and son were out to lunch together, and Joseph had a sandwich and some french fries, and he was very diligently eating his french fries. And Joel said to him, now Joseph, you can't just eat your french fries, you need to eat your sandwich too. And Joseph responded, you know, Daddy, you should pay attention to your own plate. That's what they teach us in daycare. <laughs> Today, our scripture reminds us to pay attention to our own plate. And it's hard to hear this scripture with fresh minds because we've heard it so often. And we've heard so much about Pharisees and tax collectors. So as soon as we hear that the story is about Pharisees and tax collectors, we already have some ideas in our minds about how this is going to go. Because we see over and over in scripture where the Pharisees who are supposed to be righteous are, are often painted in a bad light, and tax collectors, who we know are bad people, we, ex we assume they're going to be bad too. But for the first hearers of this story, the Pharisees were well respected. We have to remember that. Pharisees were the ones who kept the law. Pharisees were the ones who were faithful. Pharisees were the ones you looked up to. Tax collectors were horrible people. They worked for the Roman citizenry. They were the ones who cheated people left and right to, for their own gain, and nobody liked a tax collector. But here they are coming to the temple to pray, and you've got the Pharisees saying, oh, I'm so wonderful, I'm so good, I'm glad I'm not like that dude over there. And then you've got the tax collector saying, I know, I know what I do is wrong. I don't know what to do about it. I'm a bad person, forgive me, looking for repentance. You know, we often wonder why. Why don't more people come to church? And I think because too often we are like that Pharisee. We think because we come to church, somehow we're better people. And we find it easy to judge those who don't come to church, who don't share our faith. And this story is exactly what this is about. The Pharisee who thinks he's who's lauding himself and criticizing the tax collector. 
than a tax collector who's willing to look for repentance. The trigger is they're both doing this before God. The Pharisee's coming to God to pray, saying what a great guy he is, and talk about how bad other people are. He doesn't pray for the tax collector. He prays against the tax collector. The tax collector is at least praying for himself, looking for some redemption. So maybe the question is, how do we come before God in prayer? Do we pray on behalf of others? Or do we pray on, on behalf of ourselves? Do we come before God and say, gosh, thank you for making me so good. <laughs> I am awesome today. <laughs> or do we come before God looking for honesty of who we are? I'm not all there, God. I'm working on it. I'm not all there. Help me. And help all of us. Because none of us are all there. None of us have arrived at perfection. None of us will arrive at perfection. But what we can do is pray for ourselves and pray for one another that we can do better. That we might leave behind some of the stuff of the past where we have failed and try to move forward and strive to be and do better. That's what the tax collector's doing. Now, does he leave his profession? We don't know. The story just kind of ends there, that he came looking for forgiveness. And that's really all we can do. Seek forgiveness. In whatever we have failed at, wherever we have wronged, we all have that place in our lives where we could do better. The tax collector acknowledged that. The Pharisee couldn't see it. And isn't that kind of sad? Because when we acknowledge where we failed, when we acknowledge where we could have done better, there's hope for us. There's hope for our future. There's hope to move forward and be a better person. But if we fail to acknowledge that we've ever done wrong, where is the hope for us? So friends, Listen to the daycare workers. Pay attention to your own plate. And on the way, pray for one another and yourselves, ourselves. For God is a God of grace and forgiveness, but we have to ask for it first. Amen.